UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. And so this is such an exciting time, both in and out of the interface of biology and statistics. Hi, I'm Daniela. I'm not sure if I've met you before. 29-year-old Daniela Witten has made a name for herself, and not just in the University of Washington's Department of Biostatistics, where she's an assistant professor. For the third year in a row, she's been named to Forbes magazine's 30 Under 30 list. It's a huge honor to have been on the 30 Under 30 list three years in a row. And it's actually really nice as a statistician to get this honor because statistics is a field that, that typically people don't really know about very well. You know, you hear about statistics and you think about baseball statistics or something like that. Witten's work is far more complex. So but here, all, all that it says on the slide is that it's random noise, so it could be correlated random noise. Developing machine learning programs that can analyze huge amounts of data and turn it into useful information, including recommending the best treatment for patients. It has become possible to relatively inexpensively sequence your individual DNA. So find out what your individual DNA sequence is. And that's a huge amount of data, and we should hope that we can make use of that data in order to, for instance, improve your personal health care. So to create predictions about you know, what diseases you're at risk for, what therapies you're going to respond to well, and that type of thing. There is this powerful sort of wave of information, but that, that information needs smart people like Daniela to convert it to knowledge, to convert it to action, um, to make a change. Patrick Haggerty is the acting dean in the Department of Biostatistics. He says the Forbes list puts the spotlight not just on Witten, but on her field as well. The list surprised me to see someone quantitative like Daniela make a popular list like that. Our discipline's not super accessible. You can't say, oh, I'm a statistician and that's gonna somehow drum up a lot of conversation. It's not easy keeping up with Witten. On any given day, she's dashing between research work in her office and meetings with graduate students and colleagues. Hey, what's going on? She grew up in New Jersey, where her parents and older sister are on the faculty of Princeton University. She obtained three degrees from Stanford University before moving to Seattle with her husband in 2010. Since then, she's co-authored a textbook on machine learning and given a TED Talk. I'm going to talk about how we can use statistics in order to better understand cancer and move closer to a cure. People like Daniela will lead that science in the future, and people like Daniela will, I hope, draw new people, uh, kids, um, to see that as a, as a future, as a career. Witten is someone with whom young students can identify. In fact, she's often mistaken for one of them. All the time, but I take it as a compliment. At this point, if someone thinks I'm a student, I say thank you. Yeah.